and welcome to another video today so today <coughs> we will be uh, creating logs in our automation uh, notepad logs and i'll be describing how we can uh, make how uh, what is the best practices to make the logs and why do we make logs in power automate why do we make notepad logs why it is necessary to make the notepad logs in power automate since in power automate when you run a process the logs are only being generated when the automation either completes or have failed or have cancelled right only then the logs will be generated so whenever your process is running through control room right the logs will not be generated into the power automate cloud once the execution is completed or failed then only you will be able to see the logs so what if your automation is being stuck right how will you see it because it will show as running and it will not show as stuck or it will not show as warning as it shows in other, uh, other RPA tools, right? So logging is very important. A stage logging is very important in Power Automate. So we usually uh, do it in Notepad and it is recommended always as a best practice to always have logs, uh, per day logs of all the automations, right? So it's very easy and it will be a very short video, right? So uh, let's see how can we create logs. First, I will have a path, right? You can have any path as you like. I'll have my uh, path where I, you know, have my input and output files, right? So I'll be creating my file inside. I will be having a file path, right? So I will have this rename as, oh, sorry. Right, so this will be log path. So you will always, uh, you should always have daily logs path and log file should be with the current date format right so this is the path where i want to have my logs and then i will have a one more variable which would be log comments right so in initialize variable i'll just simply give that automation started right and signing variables okay Fine. So also I will just give some of these so that I will know, okay, from here the automation has started, right? So like this, I will separate the above logs. Okay, this is how, fine. Now I will take a current date time so that I would know what time the log has started. Okay, I'll just take this current date time and let's save it. And then I go into logs and I will give here current date time and then the automation started assigning variable or uh, you can also in the initial stage you can give what automation you have so you can give your automation name here sorry so in place of automation you can give the name of the automation right and let's save it so <clears throat> what i have done is i have assigned a variable i have get current date time and i have a variable which says logs comment okay now i will create a new subflow which will be called as create logs okay and in this i will just be writing a log file right so law write text to a file simple and i already have a log file path here and then i will be creating a file with the with current date time so i will search for time you can have your own, own format i'll have a day and then i will have a month and then i will have a year format right and then i will have dot txt okay so path will be saved for example today is 8 7 2024 so it will be saved as 0 8 or 8 7 2024 dot txt now what logs you need to write is uh, simply give the logs comments okay append new line if file exists then append content and just save it right now i will have this variable cut and i will just paste it here okay let's see so what i have done till now is i have created a path i have created get the current date time i have a variable right uh, in which i i have the log comments Okay, so these are the three things which I have done, right? So <clears throat> in the main, when I go, 
so it has these logs comments i will simply call my subflow which is create logs okay now i will have my automation run till the assign variables and let's see what output it will give okay so it has ran and if you see it has created a log file with today's date and the output is okay it, the date is a bit incorrect but anyway we will correct it so it has uh, appended the logs comment okay so i'll quickly go into my this and go to my logs because we have cutted that variable that's why it has given me like this oh sorry i will go to here i will give this current date time just delete this one and now run again okay now if i go and see okay so today's date is there and what is the time and the automation has started right so you can correct this assign variables spelling in your logs comment okay i'll just close this one and go here so it has what it has done is it has uh, right into the logs the step i have performed till now right assigning variables and your automation has started now next is preparing output right so you go into preparing output okay and <clears throat> similarly as you have given in here copy both in the preparing output you can give here for example you remove all this right and you say here that subflow preparing output started right so this will be logged as from current date time this will be logged okay that your preparing output has been started right and then once you launch your input output files you paste the comment similarly here input output file preparation in progress right and then similarly for each of these loops so that you will have the idea of on which sheet it is currently right so in here you give similarly you paste it here and here you give so since you're working on current sheet which is into the current item if you see current item okay and you give the current item right in progress right and then in the last what you give here is preparing or you can give output prepared right so i'll just save it and let's see how this one looks so that you will have an idea of what we have done so far right i'll just have a breakpoint here and run it Okay, so it is currently on the loop and writing the files. Okay, so it has written the logs. Let's see our logs now. Now, if you see our automation has started at 123 and then it has again started at 126, right? And it has shown that subflow preparing output started then input output file in progress japan in progress china us korea others and output prepared right so this is how you can write logs right so that you have an idea of each stage that your bot has done right so that you can in any way because the logs are not generated so that you can open uh, the notepad file from the system and see where your current 
uh, bot is running at what stage it is there okay so i'll quickly what i'll do is i will just copy these stages and i'll just paste it uh, on every subflow so that so you can have your own comments or uh, of course i'll just uh, write here that okay creating separate category subflow started right and then similarly you can have uh, so you can have on, uh, on any of the uh, between any of the sheets that you want i'll just have it, it, this in the last started and then i will have it as completed right you can have it here also that uh, filters have been cleared and filter cells have been done i'll just have it uh, at the last okay now similarly for other also uh, we have one more right assigning category category subflow start it right and then you have you can have it here that okay this has been completed okay and then if you have any exception right so your exception is being also handled so if i go to preparing output because our exception is same on all the pages right so if you remember we have reused all the subflow so i will call my uh, this logging mechanism on get exception details okay so i will just go to get exception details and in here right so i will have my error occurred and then i will give the last error and from the last error i will give just the message what error has occurred save right so it will so that it will log the error message also that okay this error has occurred at this time or you can also give the counter that okay the bot is again retrying you can have your own logic in this right now what i will do is uh, i will go into my terminated option where we have this logic and in here i will just give so that because this is where the subflow will terminate right so i will give here that automation terminated right and then once it is completed i will give the give it here that okay automation completed okay now uh, what i will do is i will just go to assign variables i will uh, remove this h to create an exception deliberately and let me just save and run it Right, I'll just run it. So currently there are exceptions because we have created it deliberately. See, it is some exception at launch Excel because the input file is not correct. Okay, now if I go to my logs and see what has happened in my automation. So, automation started assigning variables, right? And subflow, this preparing output has started. And in this subflow, an error has occurred after a second, right? So, you see the difference 13, 14. Now, again, it has retried and then again, exception had occurred at 27. And then again, a exception has occurred after some seconds. And then in the last at 42, the automation has been terminated right so from the logs it is very evident that okay your subflow has been started to fail here due to this error what also you can give in the logs is you can give your subflow and the stage name all that you can give that is your homework that how do you give is uh, just a hint that you get all these uh, parameters from the last error right so this is done now i will go here and i will just uh, remove this i will just paste this h here right and i'll just save so that it will run properly or if there is any exception of course it will be caught and written i'll remove this breakpoint and run it
okay now finally it has completed let's uh, observe the logs now so today's logs all are available here and if i go in the final log so automation started at 13 and then it has started preparing output is started input output file preparing progress japan is this done china then us korea other output has been prepared right then uh, assigning categories started and then it completed then other subflow started then completed and the automation complete right or you can so you can write any logs so that it will be understandable to you that okay these are the logs and this stage has been completed so here's your output whole prepared right so this is how you write logs in the power automate right so in the next video we will see the final part of any automation which is a deployment we will deploy this code from one environment to the another environment i have already uploaded a video in which uh, we can see how can we create environment right so stay tuned till next uh, to the video and if you like this video like share and subscribe also let me know in the comment section below uh, what are your best practices that you follow during your automation cycle till then bye thank you for watching happy automation